So this week I uh, decided a couple things, but we also ran into some problems at the house and got a whole lot done. So let's review that and then I'll tell you about what the title of this video is and kind of explain that stuff. To begin with, we took the basement where our desk is, we have the elliptical down there, we have all the weights, and then my wife's uh, desk was in a different room. Uh, we took all that stuff and we moved it all over the place. Uh, we took the elliptical, put it where her computer was, took her computer, put it where the elliptical was, moved all the weights in there. And the main idea for this was that we have a whole bunch of room for baby boy um, so that we have another area for him to play in. So right now he has the upstairs, we have that all gated off and ready to go. We have the family room where we have that all gated off and ready to go. And now we have the basement which is gated off and ready to go. Uh, so he has different spots so he doesn't get bored because he sometimes likes to get a little bored stuff and it's just easier to have different spots from the go once he gets bored in a particular spot. So that was the first thing we did. After that, we had a mini disaster, almost, sort of, kind of. Um, there's a sump pump in the basement, and uh... so to give a little perspective of what happened here, we have a pump coming off of our kind of our air conditioning and heating unit here, and it drops water from this pipe and from that pipe over here down this thing and then it eventually winds up in this which when the water fills up in this black tank here it pumps the water out of the house so that we don't have to deal with that the problem is the pipe lost its little barb it broke off of this connection right here so I need to find a new barb tomorrow so that I can replace that and I don't have water all over my floor it also shot all the way up to the ceiling earlier today which was awesome and then the weather's been pretty nice, so we can go in and I uh, took Baby Boy out and played in the park, which was nice because he hasn't been in the park in a while. And he got to go down the slide by himself, which sounds really dumb, uh, but he climbed up the stairs all by himself. He went down the slide. I got to chase him and watch him run all wild. Um, it's been really enjoyable. Um, I, I was really nervous about being a dad. I, I thought I'd be good at it, but I, like, it's really fun to watch him grow and change and do stuff. Um, and that's one of the things I want to talk about with the title of this video. Um, I, I don't want to teach anymore. Uh, l let's sit down and have a conversation about that a little bit more. All right, so when I say I don't want to teach anymore, I'm not talking about like stopping teaching. Sorry for a clickbaity title thing. Uh, what I'm really talking about is I don't want to do the traditional get up, teach, and do stuff. And I've never honestly really been that kind of teacher. Um, I I'm a tech ed teacher, so a lot of my stuff is project-based and we go and do stuff. And I basically have to give the background knowledge to get there. Um, but I have a couple of students who've been struggling with that idea. And I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to change to fit them better. Um, and I'm having kind of a hard time with it, in all honesty. Uh, because I, in my mind, the directions are set. They're clear. We've learned the material. Now we go do the project based on the material. And uh, they're not wanting to stretch and grow for that. And that's where I kind of see my son because he's always wanting to stretch and grow and do stuff. Uh, it's probably just his age. He doesn't know any better, quite honestly. But I want to, ugh, I just, ugh. It, it's hard for me to want to help and do and make things better. I always will, but it's hard for me to not want my kids to want to strive to do better in their lives. Um, it, it's just a very difficult thing for me to understand and to empathize with and to get uh, because I want them to grow and do better. I know what the process is of doing poorly in middle school and moving forward from there. I was not a great middle school student. I'll save that for another time. Um, but moving forward, uh, it's all about teaching kind of the principles and things that get you ready to go for the rest of your life. And if, if you can't do the basic parts, it's going to be a real struggle for you. And I get upset when I care more about their grades, not only their grades, but their general well-being than what they seem to, and it's hard for me. Um, so when I say I don't want to teach, um, what I mean is I don't want to be the lecture teacher, and I, I already said that, um, but what I, I, I want to come up with a way to do things. Um, my, a couple of my students complained, they said, you're not giving us step-by-step -step instruction, Mr. Nagel, um, so we can't do this, and I said, exactly. I am not going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. I'm trying to transition more from a teacher to a facilitator of knowledge because 
the knowledge is out there. It's not anything special. It's not anything new. Um, everything is on the internet. My students have full access, mostly, uh, to the internet, so they can get on YouTube and they can figure, pretty much figure out anything that I'm teaching them pretty easily in like a couple minute video on YouTube. Uh, so I, I'm trying to juggle and figure out how do I take that access and beautiful amount of knowledge and transition it to a place where my students can find it, access it, use it, and then do something with it. Uh, Cause it's not enough to just sit there and watch a video and then try to do something. And if you get stuck, you give up. Uh, I, I'm really, I want, I want that perseverance. I want them to try. I want them to care. I want them to go in and attack something. I, I truly and honestly expect greatness from my students. I want them to succeed farther than what I ever could and to do things that I never will or had the opportunity to do. And when I see opportunities for them to do things and they just don't do it, it severely impacts my motivation to teach, my motivation to get up every day and do what I do. I love what I do. I have 150 or so students and they are phenomenal. Um, there's just a handful of them that I, I just want to ring by the neck and not for because I'm angry at them or annoyed at them, um, but because I want more for them than what they want for themselves. And I'm just trying to balance where do I take that idea of I have a student who is smart, can do things, but isn't really trying. And I want to figure out how to motivate, how to do things for that student to get them to the point where they can do them for themselves. And that's a struggle for all teachers. It's, it's not I'm preaching to the choir probably here, um, but that's kind of where I'm at in my mindset for this upcoming week or this last week. Um, it's been on my mind a lot that the, the teaching thing, I love it, but I, I don't want to be the traditional teacher. I want to be more than that. I want to be greater than that. And I want my students because of that or in spite of it to be greater or better as well. Um, so that's kind of this week and uh, I'll see you next week. <music>